Ladies and gentlemen, another day, more intel on Season 6 and Black Ops Cold War Zombies. We have a lot to talk about today. So, essentially the two things we're going to be talking about is Season 6, the Metros, and what I believe is going to be some sort of Easter egg revolving around them. The second thing that we're going to talk about, and I'm going to get this one out of the way right away, is the Black Ops Cold War Easter egg on PondTakesPond.com. Once again, today there was another day of Easter egg hunting. I streamed it over on Twitch, and what we found at the very end was two different websites. The first one was called Pawn Takes Pawn slash Twisted Anomalies, and essentially this one led us to another Zork puzzle, which of course Geeky Pastimes is all over, and on top of this, it told us that the Easter egg continues on 9-28, aka on Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The second website that we got is called Pawn Takes Pawn slash Decayed and Degraded. This one is a little bit more graphic and looks a little bit more like zombies so clearly this is a zombies easter egg all this basically confirms what our suspicions actually were now the one thing that i will say is that this kind of makes me think that this somehow also might tie into season six there were rumors about zombies coming in season six and the fact that this reveal is going all the way to next week when season six comes out on monday monday's normally when we get the big reveal for season six so i'm wondering if this actually has something to do with season six as well but i guess for that we'll have to wait and see so once we get the next step to the easter egg on monday i'll make a video explain how the entire easter egg works and wherever it leaves us maybe there's going to be another day maybe we get a trailer we'll have to wait and see but i'll fill you guys in on that on monday once we have like kind of more of the easter egg to put together into a video but the second thing that i wanted to talk about in this video is the metros in season six and how they're gonna actually work so the metros this all started yesterday with this like little pamphlet that call of duty actually put out now there are several different parts to this the middle part is the actual war zone map that shows you the locations of the different metros on the right it shows you the different routes and a little bit more information there's also a couple little easter eggs on here that i wanted to point out too but first i actually wanted to look at the metros themselves and how they are actually going to work at the launch of season six so first of all let's start out by looking at the locations so the first we have is in the verdansk international area Airport. It's actually just outside of the little parking garage area by the apartments in there. This is an area that's been there before, but the entire metro is actually currently blocked off. Now, of course, this is going to be opening up come season six, similar to some of the other ones that we will be looking at as well. The second area that we have here is called Torsk Block. This is right in the block area between the two apartment buildings. There's a little metro station underneath there. It's important to note that all of these metro stations look literally identical. So even the new ones that they're going to be adding in i would assume are going to look almost exactly like this the next one that we have here is the verdansk train station and as of right now if you go and look around this area the metro station is right in front of the train station front center right in the middle but if you once again look at that map that they gave us yesterday it appears as though it's kind of like off to the side of it and as of right now nothing is actually in that area and i doubt that they're going to move it but we'll have to wait and see maybe they'll move it off to the side of the train station but i doubt it i think it's going to stay in the same spot there the next one is the Barricade Shopping District, and this one is essentially over by the Ferris Wheel, the Carnival area, kind of by the trench where the new train tracks were put in. Really nothing special to say about this one. Up next, we have the Downtown Slash Divorce District. This one's kind of by the Bank City Hall kind of area, just off to the east a little bit from there. Uh, this one is actually the last metro station on the map that currently exists, and you'll see what I mean by that in a second. Now, the next one is described as the Verdance Center, and this one obviously is right outside of Stadium, just kind of off the south east corner of it now when you actually go here there is no metro station in this area however we did get a teaser way back during call of duty champs they played a little cutscene, and in that cutscene, there were fireworks going off at stadium and you could see the metro station there off to the side so we know that that one is going to be added similarly the final one that we have here is at lazov pass now if you go to this area there is a gun shop there there's a couple of apartment buildings a bank that kind of thing but off to the 
side is where the metro station is supposed to be. And as of right now, there is literally nothing there. So this one should be added in with season six as well. So that is all of the different metro stations that are going to be on the map at the beginning of season six. Now, how do they work? So there are a couple of stipulations to how they actually work. So looking at the map, you may notice that each individual metro station, there is a train that goes both ways. So for example, if you're at the Verdant Center, one goes north, one goes south. We can get a better idea of this if we look, actually look at an image of the subway or metro station. So the way that it is explained in yesterday's blog post is, first of all, they say, at the start of every Warzone map, the metro will have a number of open stations to explore. All of them have the same layout, thanks to the massive urban planning initiative Verdansk underwent when these were first constructed. AKA, it was a lot easier for them to make one subway station and put it all over the place than a bunch of different ones. But, I mean, they can make it part of the lore if they want, I guess. So it then goes on to explain that the trains move around the map relatively quickly, so eventually, if you're waiting, it shouldn't take too long for a train to actually get there. Now, you may notice that on either side of the platform, there is a way to go up, and in this area, there are things like break rooms and different rooms with different types of loot, chests, contracts, things along those lines that you can get if you go down to the metro station. Now, if we take a closer look, we can better understand how these actually work. So, first of all, you can see that the train on the left is going to go to Verdansk train station. The train on the right is going to go to Verdansk airport. So, when looking at the map, by process of elimination, this train station that we are actually looking at is the block train station. It's right in the middle. One of the trains goes north, one of the trains goes south, relatively straightforward. Now, another stipulation about the trains is if anyone is fighting on the train or at the platform, the train won't move. As soon as you win that fight, get on the train, then it'll take you to the next destination. Now, they describe this almost as a fast travel, so I don't exactly know how fast the trains move or how fast you get to the next location, but that I'm definitely interested to see. Now, looking back at the map, there's something interesting down in the bottom right. It says, please be advised, in the event of an environmental hazard occurring at destination, train will continue operation to the next nearest safe station on the line. And then, Verdansk Metro is not liable for personal injury or trauma once passengers have completed service. So... What this means is kind of confusing. So if we take a look at the map, say for example, this was the zone that we were dealing with and you are at the Verdant Center, but you get on the train that goes north to Lazov Pass. The train wouldn't actually go to Lazov Pass. It would go to the next available one in that direction, which in this case would be Torsk Block. So it would take you all the way around. It wouldn't kill you or anything. It would just take you to Block. In other words, the next available one in that direction. At least that's what I understand from this. I'm pretty sure I'm right, but you never know. Now, there is something on this picture that you may have missed, and this is the Easter egg that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. If you take a close look at the map, in the bottom right-hand corner, there is a legend, and on the legend, it says the different pathways that the metro station actually takes, but at the very bottom, it also shows these little gray lines, and these are basically train pathways that are considered to be out of service. Now, why why put them on this map at all if they're out of service, if you can't access them? What this tells me is that at some point, in some way, you will be able to access these and use them. Now, an interesting thing about a lot of these out of service lines is a lot of them lead to bunkers. Take the one by train station, for example. It goes up and to the left towards bunker number two. Inside bunker number two, there's an elevator that you couldn't previously get on. But if you could get there, maybe it leads towards a metro station and somehow through some sort of easter egg you can get to all of the different bunkers using the metro station. As I said before, the weird part about this map is that there's more out of service lines than in service. And I'm wondering if there's going to be some sort of Easter egg. In season five, they opened up stadium and with stadium, there was an Easter egg to get into the executive room. I am guessing with the launch of season six, there is going to be some sort of Easter egg with the metro stations. And somehow it will allow you to use the out of service lines to get to certain places like bunkers. Now, is this confirmed? No, absolutely not. I am just guessing this. My big theory on this is why would they put them on the map if they have nothing to do with the game? It wouldn't make any sense. So, 
For now, we'll have to wait and see, but this is just my theory going into Season 6. Speaking of which, as of right now, there is not a ton we know about Season 6. We know the Metros are coming, we know the Operators, we know one of the weapons is the AS Val. Other than that, we're still missing a weapon, we don't know anything about multiplayer. There's still a lot of questions, and my best guess is we'll probably get a lot more information on Monday, Roadmap, that kind of thing, so I will keep you guys updated the more and more information we learn. So if you want to stay up to date, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on. If you enjoyed this video, it's always appreciated if you hit that like button and let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace out. Listen.